All right, uh, welcome back to another video. So today I'm actually going to be starting a new series where I'm going to be going over a few of the applications that, that I like to use on a daily basis um, with my you know Linux setup. So today I'm actually going to start that with OnlyOffice. Uh, so OnlyOffice is a a great alternative uh, to like Microsoft um, and LibreOffice. That one of the nicer things is that it actually is one application that you can actually open, you know, all of your documents, spreadsheets, uh, presentations, and PDFs on. So it makes it easy to be able to open those things. So if I want to open you know, a new document and then you know open up a new spreadsheet, I don't have to leave this window. So I don't have you know multiple windows. Um, open and cluttering my desktop, having a bunch of, you know, things open where like with LibreOffice, you have to have, you know, four to five different applications installed when you install the entire suite. And so this is a little bit more lightweight and has uh, a little bit better of a workflow, in my opinion. Um, you can detach the windows if you want to or keep them all, you know, within the same window as you spawn them. I really think that is a, you know, a nice feature. And then also I would like to say this, this video is actually sponsored by um, OnlyOffice, uh, but all of the thoughts and everything that I am saying today are my own and these are true to what I use um, on a daily basis. Only Office Editors um, is, you know, completely free. Um, you don't have to use any type of, you know, subscription or anything to use them. Um, you don't have to sign in to anything to use them. You can if you want to, but out of the box, you can just use them as, as they are. And what also is nice, you do have full compatibility with your Excel and PowerPoint, you know, formats. Um, so if you do have something that has been sent to you from a you know, Windows computer or someone else that is using Windows computer and actually, you know, exported their file as a Microsoft Excel file, then you'd be still be able to open them in your, your editor here. And so it's, it's fully compatible with no issues and you get pretty much all of the same uh, and more uh, features within the actual um, editor itself. So you're not lacking anything. You're not missing out on anything. You have everything. And recently they updated the, the UI. So the, the design of the UI is um, really nice and more modern looking. So that is, you know, definitely a plus and the app, you know, it's, it tends to, to run good. I have really haven't had any, you know, bugs or issues with it. I mean, and it keeps, you know, things pretty, uh, pretty simplistic, but well, while having, you know, all the features and stuff that you need, um, and you still have a PDF uh, viewer options. So you can view PDFs and you actually edit them and, you know, you do the signature options and everything like that. So this is a really handy, um, tool to have. Um, so you can actually create, you know, PDFs and have the ability to be able to like edit them and do signatures and things like that. Cause th there isn't a lot of applications that you can have, cause you can't have Adobe, um, PDF on, um, a Linux desktop. So this is a great alternative for that as well. Cause you can actually open up all your PDFs in here and you can still do like signing and adding checkboxes, all that good stuff. Um, if you want to create your own document or if you receive a document and you need to update it, um, you can do so, you know, within the, within this editor. So it definitely kind of fits, it definitely kind of fits a lot of different use cases for in here. And it does have a, a pretty good uh, plugin system as well. So you can go to your plugin manager and um, there's a different, some different like AI, you know, chat bots and stuff that you, that you can install. Um, and then it has a bunch of different options as far as like a code highlighting HTML, which has a, a, a Jitsi integration as well. So they have a bunch of different um, integrations that you can use. They also have like a little photo edit, photo editor option, QR code generator, some nice uh, uh, plugins that you can add um, within your, your, your system here, just in case those are something that, you know, you're looking for. One other nice thing is it actually has a bunch of templates. Honestly, I think like more than Google drive or like Excel has as far as templates go. So there's a bunch of different templates that are pretty, pretty robust um, for the most part. So like you know, I got this cover letter here. Looks pretty good. And you have like a checklist over here um, that looks pretty good. So that there's a bunch of different options that you can use. Like look at this crazy uh, checklist over here. So this one's, you know, very well designed and obviously has the functionality to, to be able to use that you know, template uh, within the actual you know, spreadsheet options. So definitely has a lot of different options in here. And then you do also have the cloud options. So it kind of has the option to take your uh, documents to the cloud, just like Google Docs. Google Sheets and things like that. So you can kind of have the best of both worlds and have, you know, both of those options within your, within using, uh, you know, your documents and everything. So, and it's definitely compatible with pretty much um, every Linux distro. Um, it's in the repos for, you know, for Debian and Ubuntu, um, Fedora, Arch, NixOS. It, it's in, it's available on pretty much uh, everything. It actually comes pre-installed on quite a few uh, desktops as well. So I do like, like Manjaro, Rizzi OS, Regato OS, I, I believe have all only Office, you know, pre-installed on there um, amongst some other, some other popular ones too. But overall you can pretty much get it anywhere when, when you're, uh, depending on what uh, desktop that you're using on Linux. So easy to use. I haven't found any, you know, really major 
um, issues with it. it. It works out of the box, works really well. And uh, this is just, uh, you know, my, my choice um, for any type of uh, documents that I, that I, you know, use on, on my system. So, and in the description below, you can find the link um, where you can actually go and uh, download it or find which available um, option you want to you want to download it from. Um, so they do have like dev and um, RPM options along with FlatHub and Snap as well. Or you can do the app image option too, or just download it from your, you know, your distro's repo. So with that, please enjoy my content. Please consider liking and subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.